Hello, I'm James Clark from the Department of Physiology at King's College London. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use OBS to stream live through Microsoft Teams by virtue of the OBS virtual camera. This is made possible through the use of a virtual camera driver, which is made available free on GitHub. Currently, there is both a Windows and a Mac version of this virtual camera driver. So if you're a Windows user, download the Windows version. If you're a Mac user, download the Mac version. Once you've installed your virtual camera driver, simply load up OBS, go from the Tools menu and choose Start Virtual Camera. While you're in OBS, nothing is going to actually happen, but you are now streaming whatever is in this output window to a virtual camera driver and you can insert this virtual camera into your Teams or Zoom meetings. So having set up the virtual driver in OBS, you now need to go into Microsoft Teams and select this virtual video driver in order to transmit whatever is in OBS over your Microsoft Teams stream. So I've opened up Teams here on the right hand side of my window and if I click my mouse on the screen and choose more actions, I can choose the show device settings. Once here, down the bottom under camera, I've now got a new option, which is the OBS virtual camera. Windows and Mac operating systems may have this slightly different, it may look slightly different, but the functionality is the same. So I'm going to choose the OBS virtual camera. And now you can see on the screen, if I just resize this for clarity, there we go, you can now see I've got the logo that I've inserted on OBS and I've also got my lower thirds. Don't be worried that the lower thirds and the logo appear to be back to front. That's just because Microsoft Teams flips the image in order to show you a reflection. So if I hold up my right hand, I see my right hand. If I hold up my left hand, I see my left hand. And over my shoulder, I see my cat. So you can see that your viewers will see the video the correct way round. It's just that you see things back to front on your screen. But that's not a big issue. So having established now you've got your OBS stream working through Microsoft Teams, you can simply choose to show your slides, your slides on your webcam, or your side-by-side -side view by selecting those options in OBS. What's really quite nice is if you are showing your slides, and now I'm in a PowerPoint presentation and I'm going through my slides to present these to my colleagues, if you wish to break and go back to your webcam, you simply click on the Teams window and down the right hand side is the Change Input button. Click on that and now you'll go back to your webcam. So we're no longer using the OBS driver, we're now using our Microsoft Teams webcam driver. And we can flip now between using OBS by there or using your built-in webcam. So there's a really quick way now of flipping between slides and webcam or flipping between animations, automation and media content. If you found this tutorial useful, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel.